next drill is our four check breakout drill. This is a great drill as far as forwards reading both defensively and offensively and defensemen learning to handle pressure of the breakouts. The drill is pretty simple. All your extra players are going to be along the wall. Along the wall here. You're going to have one forward, F1 in this case, step out with the puck. Another forward, F2, with two defensemen. We'll start the drill one against three. And it's a continuous drill on both sides of the ice, so all you need is one puck, goalies, in each net. On the whistle, F1 is going to dump the puck against F2 and the two defensemen. Again, it's a one-on-three situation. F1 is trying to forecheck as hard as he can the, these three players. Now, these three players have to work as a group as far as A, reading where the puck is going, B, communicating, C, holding up or trying to make sure that they impede F1 getting in on that forecheck hard, and then D, getting that puck and transitioning to offense. Okay? The goalies are also extremely involved in this drill because the goalies need, will be out stopping pucks and they can also communicate to the D all the time in this drill as far as being their eyes up the ice. Now, once this forward dumps a puck and these three players attempt to break it out, this forward is also working on his forecheck. We want him to keep his feet moving, his stick on the ice, and if he's a really smart hockey player, he's going to dump it to an area where he, think, he thinks he can win the race to that puck. Once this play crosses the blue line, your next forward, F3, and next two defensemen, D3, will step out at the red line. D2 and F2 are, are going to break the puck out against F1. Once they cross the blue line, F1 is done with the drill and will go back to the area standing along the wall. Now F2 is approaching the red line, must dump the puck on F3 and D3. And you can have several po uh, possible scenarios there. Against, again, on the breakout, you may have a scenario where the D work together and pass the puck up to F2, and now F2 is skating. F3 would probably be trying to angle F2, put him in a bad situation, maybe finish the hit against F2 so he can't get in on that forecheck and to buy his D time. The other possible scenario you may have is D2 moves the puck to F2, and then F2 moves the puck back to a defenseman. And then now your defensemen have to make a read. Your defensemen need to dump the puck for your forward, and again, they're trying to put it into an area where F2 can get to that puck. So there's a lot of dimensions and a lot of reading reacting. This is very game-like as far as your defensemen are learning to break out against pressure, against a forecheck. They don't have all the time in the world, and they have to make good decisions by communicating. Your forward has to get to a position where he can support. It might be initially off the net. It might be initially off the wall. Very game-like. And then once you do have possession and you are attacking that puck, now your, your forward that just broke you out is now your next four checker. So now he needs to get the red, put a dump in an area where he thinks he can get to, get his feet moving, get in and on F3, D3, and D3. Okay? F3, D3, D3 will break out against F2. Once this play, F2 is four checking. Once this play, would have, the puck gets dumped in. Now you have your next forward and your next D jumping off the wall, ready for the group. So it's a continuous drill back and forth. Phase two.